In this example, we want to do kind of uh, an economics example, talks, talking about something called the gross domestic product or GDP. So you might have heard of you know, GDP in the news um, or on television somewhere. And all it refers to is the total economic output of a country in terms of dollars. So how much money that economic output is worth. All right, so the GDP, the gross domestic product of China, was $5,739 billion, so we're talking thousands of billions, okay, in 2010, and the GDP of Sweden was $435 billion, okay? The population of China is about um, 1,347 million, okay, so what, another way of thinking about that, they're saying it's 1.3 billion, while the population of Sweden is much, much smaller, is 9.5 million. So let's compare what they call the GDP per capita of the two countries. All right, so per capita, think of this as an average per person. That's what per capita means. Okay, so basically, if we were to take China's total gross domestic product and divide it by the number of people, that would tell me on average how much each person is getting their share of the gross domestic product. It would be the same for Sweden. All right, so let's, we have the two countries. We have China and we have Sweden. So let's, we've read the problem, so let's write down the relevant information, the next step, just so we know what we're working at. So the GDP, all right, uh, for China was 5739 billion. So billion would be followed by literally nine zeros. So that's the total, total money. Um, of economic output of China in 2010. Now their population was three one three four seven million. Okay, so that would be followed by six zeros or millions. So then their per capita GDP is you would take their total GDP and divide it by people to find out the average per person. So to make this a little bit easier when you do it, go to do this in your calculator, you can see right off the bat that all this right here will cancel. So just to make it a little bit easier in your in your calculator, so pulling our calculator over, you would take five, turning it on obviously, five, seven, three, nine, and three zeros. And you would divide that by one, three, four, seven. And you would get this. All right, so I'm just going to round this to the nearest dollar. So this would be $4,261. Okay, so that's the per capita GDP. So another way to think about it is um, that's like on average. This helps see like on average how much each person money they make or are given per year in China. That's like the per capita GDP. All right, so let's do the same thing for Sweden. So Sweden's a smaller country and their and their gross domestic product is much smaller. So GDP, their GDP was 435 billion. So billion is followed by nine zeros. Their population was 9.5 billion. Okay, so, not, excuse me, million. So previously I followed it by six zeros, but because it had 9.5, that 0.5 takes the um, first, first zero over instead of putting a zero there. So you wouldn't put 95 and followed it by six zeros because that would get you 95 million. So their per capita GDP. You're going to take their total GDP and you're going to divide that by their total population. So just similarly, you can see to make things easier, if it helps, I'm going to have five zeros here, are going to cancel with five zeros here. So be careful, you're going to need to do the four zeros there. Okay, it doesn't cancel that one. So you're going to take four, three, five, and then four zeros, divide that by 95, 
and their per capita GDP looks to be $45,789. So let me put that over here. $45,000, and I think we said $789. So that's that's how much um, the average, basically the average economic output of each individual is, or the average income of each individual. So just looking at it, so I would say something like this. While China has a larger total GDP, Sweden has a larger per capita GDP. So you can think of GDP also too as like a um, measure for in commerce or how much people make per year. So, so you can see that people in Sweden are, are much better off on average than people in China.